Hello, this is Reza from Redacad and today I'm going to talk about how you can use a, a calculation for stock on hand uh, using the inventory movement, inventory transactions, calculate at any given date what is the stock on hand uh, for that given date using DAX calculation in Power BI uh, in an inventory model. Let's see how it works. Uh, for the inventory scenarios, usually there is a table for inventory movement or movement of the items in and out of warehouse. Now I have uh, I have a table here, very simple table in this scenario that has a date, uh, the product ID and the quantity. Imagine that we are only analyzing one warehouse, uh, otherwise there would have been uh, another field that is also warehouse ID. And to keep it simple, I just keep everything in one table, date, product, and quantity. These can come from other dimension tables, connection to this fact table, and etc. Right? Uh, now, this uh, is the input that we have. The quantity of items every day these items are added to our warehouse uh, um, for these products. Uh, the desired output is uh, for any given date, for any given date, something like this, for any given date, for every product, uh, the representation of that, the presentation of that can be different based on what you want. But for any given date, it tells me that how many of each products I have in that given date. Uh, even if there is no transaction, no movement in that date, it should show me that. And if there is a movement or transaction in that date, it should show me that it is increased or decreased or something like that. This is the desired output. This is what we call stock on hand in inventory scenario. Now, uh, there are usually two ways of achieving something like this. One way is using a snapshot fact table. A snapshot fact table is a table uh, that uh, has records like this. Now I'm just showing to you this as a table as a visual in Power BI. But in fact, if you are using uh, a snapshot fact table, you should build this table in Power Query uh, or in DAX with some calculations. This is a table that we call a snapshot fact table. It has any given date. And for every given date, you see it has uh, all the products in that date. So here, these are all for one product. If I uh, go to another product uh, further down, it should al also have that product as well, right? Uh, so this uh, this is a, a table that you need to build if you are doing a snapshot fact table. The problem with the snapshot fact table is that it gets really big really fast uh, imagine this scenario let's say we are analyzing 10 years of data and one record per day so that's 365 365 days so that's 3650 days uh, and we have let's say 1000 products that's 3 million and we have 10 warehouses that's 36 million and a half uh, for just a simple data set like that. Usually you have more warehouses, you have more products, you have bigger range. So you can see how big this table can get really fast. The snapshot fact table is a table that gets really big, really fast. Now, um, I'm not saying that Power BI cannot handle this amount of rows. Power BI can handle trillions of rows. Uh, go and check my uh, other blog post about that. Uh, but what I'm saying is that if you are creating such a table just for pur the purpose of calculating stock on hand, there is a better way. Let's see how we can do that in DAX. Uh, stock on hand is kind of a running total calculation so let, let's see how that works in power bi you can calculate running total uh, using a calculation like this uh, now this calculation uh, you can find the code in my blog uh, uh, blog link down in this description below you can find the calculation and copy it uh, basically the way that i created it is you can do the same as well go to quick measure there's a quick measure you can use for um, for the uh, running total. 
so you can go to quick measure you can select the uh, calculation you want in this case this is rolling total calculation all you need to provide is what you want as a result quantity and the result of that based on which field date field and it is ascending or descending just just that right this will give you the same calculation uh, as you see this is, this is the same calculation the only difference is that if you are using your default date table rather than the custom date table you might need to add a dot date at the end of these fields to make it um, uh, you're working with your default date table as well. I'm not going to fix that for now. I'm using the one that uh, I already fixed it, and you see that I'm using my default date table rather than rather than the custom date table. And the calculation is just a simple sum of the quantity uh, using the all selected and is on or after uh, DAX function really helpful. And uh, with these two, it calculates the running total. So if I come and use something like that in here in this visual so right now this visual is showing me this is a matrix visual it is showing me every product uh, and the inventory um, not not inventory this is basically the uh, quantity for each given date it's not running total of the quantity now I can bring that uh, calculation here and I can call it running total uh, which you can see here that running total works really uh, good here for example in 2008 we had uh, one in 2009 we have eight all together in 2009 we have nine which is one plus uh, eight and for every given period it also gives us uh, the value as well so this is a running total calculation compared to uh, just the amount you can compare the running total values with the quantity right beside it this running total is uh, accumulated quantity in any given period right so it works really fine and good the problem however is that uh, stock on hand should show us the stock on hand even if there is a date that there is no inventory transactions there is no inventory movement happened for example you see that at 20 of december there was a transaction there was a movement but then in 21st there was no movement so if someone wants to find out at 21st of december how much stock i got in hand i don't really see it here what about 22nd what about 23rd same for other periods what about 16th of january what about 17th of february i don't have those dates running total calculation needs to be modified just a little bit to give me a stock on hand even if there is no uh, transaction on that date it still should show me the running total up until that date so what i've done i added um, just a very small change i added a variable here current date and i said this variable is the maximum uh, date I use this to get the current uh, records date there are other ways to do that as well this is one of the ways I did it uh, I get the current records date using this approach and then I calculate same running total but this time based on that current date so altogether this calculation is giving me uh, that running total so if I add it here you can see the difference so as soon as I add this here you see that this even shows me the dates that there is no movement you see these are all the dates that there is no movement here however i see the stock on hand for those dates which is usually the last stock on hand coming from the previous uh, date that there was a transaction and this goes on and on for any other scenarios so here for example you see that uh, there was no transactions here and here however i have the stock on hand calculation working perfectly before after and during that period with just a small little change uh, you can find the code again in my blog down in the description below uh, so in summary here is the calculation very simple calculation you can use index as a measure to give you the stock on hand um, 
much simpler, easier to maintain compared to creating a snapshot, big snapshot fact table. If you already have a snapshot fact table and you calculate it that way, that's absolutely fine. But if you are considering creating a snapshot fact table just because of that, uh, I strongly recommend considering this approach as well. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.